Over the last two years, a record 10 million Americans applied to start new businesses. 10 million. And by the way, every time, every time someone starts a small business as an act of hope, and Madam Vice President, I want to thank you for leading that effort to ensure the small businesses have access to capital and the historic laws we enacted that are going to just come into being. You heard President Biden there at the State of the Union mentioning the growing number of small businesses around the country and the efforts on the federal government to get them more capital. But according to a survey from Goldman Sachs, 70 percent of small business owners give government programs a grade of C or below. Let's get into the survey now with Jessica Johnson Cope. Goldman Sachs is 10,000 small businesses, Voices National Leadership Council chair. And of course, she is a small business owner herself. Jessica, thank you for being here. Why is the federal Good government morning, Julie. why is the federal government getting such a bad grade on this? Well, I think this, the Small Business Administration is well-intentioned, but many small business owners don't have the full breadth and depth of programs and services that the SBA offers, and as a result, aren't able to take advantage of those resources and programs that can help us to grow and sustain our businesses. So that's probably why the scores are so low for the government's um, take on small business. Jessica, good to see you again. It's been uh, it's been a, a little bit here. What if President Biden is reelected? What can his administration do to make uh, life easier for you and, and your business? Well, I'm encouraged by the State of the Union address that the president has focused on bipartisanship and working together on either side of the aisle. Small business is not a partisan topic. It's something that requires uh, support from both the Democrats and the Republicans. So we uh, look forward to the administration to continue to focus on aspects that impact small businesses, such as access to capital, such as access to contracts with federal agencies, and regardless of who ends up in office. I think if we have those things, um, small businesses will grow and flourish here in the United States. The administration being one thing, but then the access to capital via banks and financial institutions being another as well, in tandem with what small businesses need to whether what some large businesses, large enterprises and publicly traded companies are trying to brace themselves for in a mild recession. How can small businesses better position themselves in the instance of a mild recession incurring within the next several months or even year? Well, I'm encouraged by the, the survey data. You mentioned that Goldman Sachs recently released survey data from some of the alumni of the 10,000 Small Businesses Program. And there's a level of optimism because many of our small business participants have realized how to do more with less coming out of the pandemic. So wherein the economic pressures are going to affect all businesses, both large and small, if we continue some of the practices that we put in place during the pandemic, I'm sure that we'll see that small businesses will come out okay during the current economic challenges. Um, but access to capital will remain something that's important. And we'll be looking to the large commercial banks to um, put small businesses in context when they look at their underwriting standards uh, because we still need the money that's going to help our businesses to grow. But when you give a small business the money to grow, that has a larger impact because small businesses um, – employ more than 50% of private sector jobs. And that means that there'll be a positive impact in communities by putting people to work, by increasing payrolls, and by increasing the, the tax base um, in, in local communities and across the country. And, and Jessica, part of what you're talking about is the reason why the federal government during the pandemic initiated that Paycheck Protection Program, right, that funneled a lot of capital into small businesses. But talk to me about the sort of transition from that, right? That was a time where there, I mean, and there was certainly friction in that process as well, but kind of where are small businesses in the cycle coming out of that uh, time when they were getting an infusion? So small businesses have begun to stabilize and to look to the new normal. So how we ran businesses before COVID may not be the same way that we do it now. Um, but many small business owners are optimistic because now that the world is open again, we see an increased consumerism, even though people might not be buying toys like you talked about in your previous <laughs> seg uh, <laughs> segment. Um, 
But we do see people are spending money again, and many consumers were able to increase their savings and increase their disposable income during the pandemic. And so small business owners are trying to leverage those opportunities, those selling opportunities uh, to stabilize and to grow. Long term, it may mean that we have to be a little bit more conservative in how we hire. Uh, we have to take in mind um, the supply chain challenges that we faced over the last year and a half, two years, and maybe have picked up new um, suppliers for our products and services, but we still feel the pressure of increased interest rates. We see the pressure of um, inflation. And so we're managing through the businesses by being consistent, putting into practice some of the things that we did during the pandemic, and then tightening up our, our belt straps uh, so that we can make it in the long term. The president also man mentioned uh, the increased number of new businesses that started during his administration. We're very um, excited about that because that means that people are taking their destinies into their own hands and with more new businesses there are opportunities for small businesses to do business with one another and not just to bend on the large corporates so it's a great time to reimagine what the future of small business and what the future of our nation's economy can look like as a result of the, the current economic pressures that we're feeling jessica thank you so much for the time here today goldman sachs 10,000 small businesses voices national leadership council chair Jessica Johnson-Cope here on Yahoo Finance with us this morning. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Yeah.